Apple's 2013 line of details and launch dates get leaked. Samsung quarter results are in and some weird details emerge. And HTC launches a weird mini remote for the butterfly. I'm Jaime Rivera. And the last thing we need is a phone for our phones. This is Pocket Now Daily. You know, Apple is the most predictable company in the world when it comes to launch date and devices and still we get a ton of rumors all through the year. It was speculated that the iPad mini twin that the iPad 5 would be launched in spring, but new rumors have it that it will be launched in the fall, and it makes a lot of sense. Now interesting enough, the iPad mini 2 will include a retina display, duh, but apparently the iPad 5 will look exactly like the iPad mini, even with the fact that it doesn't have a bezel on the left or the right. When it comes to the iPhone 5s, there are changes, apparently they won't leave the launch until the fall and they will be launching at a WWDC that happens in June, though we don't know what we'll be getting in this iPhone 5s. And then when it comes to that iPhone Math or iPhone Plus that people were talking about, well, apparently that device is just a prototype and it won't see the light of day. Samsung, on the other hand, posted their quarter results to some staggering numbers. 63.7 million smartphones were sold, but we know they dilute their Galaxy brand a lot with low-end and higher-end smartphones, so it's hard to tell which of these were the Galaxy S3, but we do know that it had a lot to do with that. But the interesting point here is that their CEO just came on record to state that apparently sales will decline in the next coming months, and it makes you wonder why would that happen. In our opinion, well, the Galaxy S4 is just around the corner, so it only makes sense that their current 29% market share will remain stagnant until the Galaxy S4 reaches stores. And what could the Nokia Laser be? New rumors have the company having a device with that code name being slated for Verizon. And our biggest bet is since Verizon already has the Nokia Lumia 822 in their low-end smartphone lineup, most likely this is their Lumia 920 variant, being dubbed the Lumia 922. Still no dates, but hopefully that will happen very soon. And if unlocking smartphones is your thing, because it clearly is mine, well, the DCMA in the United States as of tomorrow will not allow this to be legal. So that means that if you want to unlock your phone, well, A, the carrier has to allow it, or B, you'll have to buy a smartphone that's already unlocked. And it's just interesting to see what's gonna happen as of tomorrow. In the past, it was really easy to find ways to unlock your phone anyway, so I'm sure that everybody will figure that out. Probably prices will go up, but still, it'll most likely continue happening, so just, a word of warning for those that rely on it. And finally, for the odd news of the day, HTC has just begun selling their HTC Mini as a companion to the HTC Butterfly in China. And the point of this device is that it connects to your Butterfly, which is the DNA in the United States, through Bluetooth or NFC, and it's pretty much a remote that controls everything in your phone, from text messages to making and receiving phone calls to actually even serving as a camera shutter. And it makes all the sense of the world if you think of it in, well, emerging countries where theft is probably an issue, and you'd love for that Mini to be stolen and not your butterfly, but that leads me to the question of the day. What purpose would you have for a phone that pretty much serves as a phone for your phone? It's like a companion. It makes all the sense to me for tablets, for example. There are certain tablets that have data capabilities and could allow you to make phone calls with those data plans, but still, would you need an HTC Mini? In my case, well, in third world countries like here in Latin America, it's complicated when it comes to theft, so it makes sense, but leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you Monday.